This week we're coming to you from Alamo Lake State Park and if you want directions on how to get here This week we're leaving Nevada and we're back on the road again and we're heading to the most remote state park in Arizona. Our journey takes us from Boulder City along the Colorado River through California and into Arizona where we end up at Alamo Lake State Park. When you turn off Highway 60 on your way to Alamo Lake State Park, the road leading into the park is over 38 miles long, winding through some of the most remote desert in the state. It's beautiful country, but man, you just wonder when you're gonna to get to the campground. Just when you've given up hope that the campground is nowhere out here, you turn a corner and there you are at the campground. This week we're coming to you from Alamo Lake State Park and to get here you want to drive all the way out to the middle of nowhere, take a left turn and go another 40 miles and it'll take you right to Alamo Lake State Park. Behind us is Alamo Lake. The name Alamo is Spanish. For cottonwood. Cottonwood, right. right. It's named for the cottonwood trees that are in this area. And this lake was formed by damming the Bill Williams River. And the Bill Williams River flows over to the Colorado and they put the dam on here in the 60s to help control flooding. This lake is ne never designed to be full. Designed to be a reservoir that will capture rainfall and sometimes they can have severe rainfall in this area and get anywhere up to three foot an hour of rain so it's not inconceivable that this lake could rise by 20 feet in a matter of 24 hours so they put this lake in here it controls the flood control but it's also very popular for fishing and other uh, recreation this area is located right in the Alamo Lake State Park. Yeah, and the real the reason that this state park is here is because they built the dam. And to build the dam, they had to build the road. And the road is 38 miles long from the main highway. So this is literally in the middle of nowhere. Um, this wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the dam and the, you know, and the road. And they figured, well, you got a road, you got, you know, a lake, might as well make a state park here. And so they, a few years after building the dam, they built the state park and expanded it to allow camping and such here. Now one interesting thing about this area is th there's burls or donkeys and we we're kind of wondering where they came from. The donkeys are here because this was a mining area um, back in the turn of the 1800s, the 1900s, turn of that century. And the miners would bring the donkeys in to help them with their mining 
and some of them would escape and then some of them were just left behind when the miners left and so they've become wild burls and they live in this area and I guess there's a pretty good size herd we've seen a few of them and we're gonna to try to get some on video to show you you can see the evidence of, of them all over the place yes. um, but they they live through this area and they are protected and sometimes the herd has to be thinned down so if they do that they capture the uh, burls and then they take them off to be adopted they find them new homes well it's time for us to update our map we've been to some new states and it's been a little while since we've added them to the country map here so we've been to Oklahoma New Mexico Arizona Utah Nevada Nevada yep I think that's it. There we go. Yep. So we're all updated on the states that we've spent a night. That's our criteria. We have to spend at least one night. Spend one night, do something in the state that warrants, you know, you know, tourism or something like that. As you can see, we've spent time at a lot of state in a lot of states on the East Coast. We have not done any of New England yet or any of the north northern states. Central or states here. Central yeah. states or states out west, including Alaska or Hawaii. It's going to be kind of hard to get the Airstream to Hawaii. Yes, yes. We have and, to cheat on that one, right. leave the Airstream home. And until they open the Canadian borders, Alaska pretty much is out of the picture for right now. All right, so thanks for hanging through our updates, and maybe one of these days we'll come to your state. We're going to hike the Alamo Lake Trail today and we didn't bring the dogs because we weren't sure if this was a good trail for pets or not you know we were afraid of you know maybe them stepping on a cactus or a piece of a something and you know hurting their paws so we figured we would do this ourselves first and then see well, where the heck is this camera going <laughs> so, we'll take you guys along with us lift the dogs back in the trailer right yeah. let's go okay.
We've reached the summit of our hike. I think this is probably about the halfway point too. Well, now we go down. Right. So that should be easier. Actually, coming up was not bad at all. No, it wasn't. I mean, this isn't a real long hike. Maybe, I don't know, mile and a half. Yeah. Total. Yeah. So it wasn't that long. And it's a nice day. So, yeah. you know, just up a few hills, but nothing too steep. So I would say it's relatively an easy hike. Right. And, and someone had they had put on this, this bench here the elevation that we're at, but unfortunately it's so faded you can't read it, so I don't know how high we, how high we are, but we're, we're this high, we're this high. <laughs> and we still haven't seen any burrows, so, you know, they must not... Ooh, what? there's one line down there. Where? See the little flat spot? Oh, way down there? Yeah. You have to take a picture of it with your camera because my camera won't pick it up. The lens isn't strong enough. I'm not sure I see it. See? Oh, okay, I see it now. Huh. So we did find a spot where the burrows are. They're way down there on the bottom of the hill. If I tried to take a picture with this camera, you would never see them. They'd be so small, unfortunately. So we got to see it. You guys got to come here to see them yourself. So we're out for our evening walk, and we're also looking for the burrows because we've kind of come to the conclusion that they really come out in the evening, not during the day. And just ahead, we're getting towards the lake, and we're seeing some just ahead of us. So. Hopefully we can get some pictures of them on the camera because it's starting to get a little dark and they're kind of just like dark shadows on a hill. But maybe we can get a little closer and you can get some video of them. I don't know if you can see them, but there's two donkeys or two burrows right there. There actually is three of them. There's one down a little bit lower. Not sure how close I can get before they run off. There's a, there's a couple more up on the hill, right? there in the center of the screen you can just see their ears poking up above the grass so they can hear me they know I'm here there they are now they're looking at me I don't know if you can see there's one on the road one just in from the side of the road and there's one just a little bit lower down in the hillside Diane the dogs are coming down they're probably gonna scare them away but we'll see Yep, there they go. You see the four of them? Mm -hmm. There's still the two up on the top of the hill. There were. The one has a white belly. Yeah. They know we're here. They can hear us. They're funny. They they move a little bit and then they stop and listen and stand real still. He's like, if I just move real slow, they won't see me. <laughs> Matty sees them. They see them. And the one on the hill right there. That's Monty. He sees them now. Which is going to get them moving, I'm sure. There they go. there in the hillside, London Inn. Monty! 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 Monty!
Monty. Hey, Monty. And these guys are just frozen over there. Thinking, what the heck is all that noise? Monty. Yep, they got truck got them moving. I don't know what the heck a UPS truck is doing down here. Where's a UPS truck going? Who's he delivering to? Well, we were successful in finding him. Yep, we were. It had to be, what? How many? Four? Seven? We saw, we eight? saw yeah, about eight of them. Because there was at least three up on the other side of that hill. Yeah, and then we saw four right. across the road. Right, and then the and one the over one up here. on the hill. Yeah. Seemed to be all by himself. I can't see any others. Right, he was making noise. Yeah, <laughs> that's how we found him. Yeah. Kind of startled us. Oh, he's still up there. Where? He's up on the, you can just barely see him on the top of the ridge there. You only can see him because he's moving. There, you see him moving now? Oh, there he goes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Monty sees him. at Alamo Lake is coming to an end, dear. Mm -hmm. And it's time for us to hit the road tomorrow. Right. We've been spending the past 10 days here. And it, it's been a good time. Yeah, this, this uh, campground was a, a pleasant surprise. It's literally out in the middle of nowhere. Right. And, you know, you, when you come here, you definitely want to be stocked up on supplies because to get to a store or anything like that is going to be 80 miles. Mm -hmm. It's just 40 miles just to get to the highway, so it's another 40 miles from the highway to get to a Walmart or anything. Right. So when you turn off the main road, when you see that sign that says Alamo Park, and then it's another 38 miles to get to the entrance of the park. So it's quite a drive here. But, it, you know, you get really to a feeling of being away from it all. Mm-hmm. Now, the campsite here in our loop, it's, it's they're a little bit odd. I think this was really a picnic area that they added electricity to, to create additional campsites. And this is their day use area. So if you just want to come for the day, they have nice picnic tables, fire pits, grills. The picnic tables are covered. And um, yeah, so we think we're in the more the picnic area. Yeah, or an overflow camping. Right. Because they have been full on the weekends, the two weekends we've been here. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to be a great place right on the um, Alamo Reservoir for bass fishing. That's what we hear. We're, we're not fishermen, but that's what we've heard. And also, um, off-roading is a big, big thing in this area. So yeah. if you have ATVs or UTVs, in fact, this past weekend, or this weekend, there was a UTV festival in Wendon, which is the little town right in, right when you get off the highway, or the driveway, or the driveway, <laughs> the, the road, road to this park. Right. So, yeah. So, and we've noticed that there's quite a few that are staying in this campground. There's no beach area. No, I don't know if there's really technically any swimming here or not. Um, we haven't seen anybody swim, but I think the water is too cold this time of year, right. really, to go in and swim. Right. There is a nice trail that you can hike on. It's not too long. It probably takes about an hour. Hour and a half. Maybe. Hour and a half. And it's not. It's up the hill, but it's not steep, and it's not real rocky. No. 
more gravel. Yeah, yeah. So we did that today, and that was fun. Yeah, yeah it was a nice, nice afternoon to stay outside. Yeah, and you can ride your bikes around here. Yeah, there's very little traffic. The roads are hilly and a little windy, but um, not too bad. And like I say, they're not too busy at all, so you don't really have to worry about a lot of traffic. And there is camping, um, dispersed camping along the road coming in here. We saw a few people doing that. Yep. Yep. So, you know, whatever, whatever you prefer. It's open to a lot of different things. And it's really not that expensive. Even for electric, it's only $22 a night, which we consider to be on the less expensive side. Yeah. And if you boondock, it's only $15 a night. Right. You right? get no hookups. Right. Yeah. And they do have a dump station here. We had electric. We had water in the area that we could hook up. We could fill our tank with, but not on the site. Some of the sites do have water and electric. Mm -hmm. And then there are a few full hookup sites that are $25 a night. Right. I think there's 19 of them. Yeah. But a lot of those, I think, are park employees. Right. Have are more staff. people that stay here permanently. Yeah. And this is the only night that we've had a fire, too. Are you giving away all our secrets? Well, yeah. I mean, we're not... We become... Well, more so me. Not a late night person. Well, I think this is where we're ended. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, what should they do? Subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Hit the bell for notifications. We do new videos on a weekly basis, and we'd love to have you follow along in our journey. And leave us a comment. Have you ever been out to this campground, Alamo Lake? If you have, let us know what you think about it. Or if there's some place in this area that we should be checking out while we're traveling, let us know. Until the next time, we'll see you see down you the down road, road, guys. Bye. Bye.